In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an end note to your document within Microsoft Word for Mac. Now, in a previous video, I have covered how to insert and edit footnotes. And if you're interested in learning how to work with footnotes, then check out the video using the card above or in the description below. But let's focus here on inserting an end note. Now, if you're not familiar with the differences between an end note and a footnote, then essentially your end note, as the name suggests, will appear at the very end of the document, whereas footnotes will appear at the bottom of each page that they've been added just above the footer. So let's first of all have a look at how we can add an end note to our document. So I'm going to go to page two and I'm going to maybe after this chunk of text here, this paragraph, I'm going to add my end note here. Now I'm going to go up to the references tab and then simply click insert end note. Now two things will happen. The first thing is it will add a little small number one or an I depending on the formatting next to the chunk of text where we added it, but it'll also now take me to the very end of the document and put my end note here. So I'm gonna say this is the first end note, okay? But the difficult thing here is for me to try and actually find that end note. So if I scroll through my document, I might not remember exactly where I added it. And sometimes it can be quite hard because I've managed to find it, but you'll see it's very, very small here. So if I zoom in, it's not terribly clear. And if you've added that within a chunk of text inside the paragraph, it can be even more difficult to spot. So if I jump down to another page, let's go to this page here. If you want to be able to find your end note, then all you need to do is click show notes and it will take you to the note. But then if I click again, it will take you to where the actual end note was added within the text. Now, if we want to add another end note, all we do is find another piece of text. Let's say, for example, after this line here, let's go to insert end note and you'll see it inserts number two. And then this is the second end note. Now, again, to identify that particular end note, we go to show notes, and right now we are looking at it just here. Now let's add one more, but this time let's add it way before both of those. So let's go to this piece of text here, and I'm going to insert an end note, and that will actually become number one. So you'll see here it knows that that has been inserted above the first and second one, so it now becomes the first. So this is the first end note. This is the second, and this is the third. Now, when it comes to updating your end notes, if you're updating the note itself, which is this part here, then all you need to do is go to the end of your document and make your changes here. So you'll see here, I could say this is a third end note and the last one in this document. However, if you need to delete the end note, what you do not do is simply delete the note from here because it will still remain within your document, as you can see here with the number. So just to undo that, what I would rather do is locate the end note that I want to delete, and then you simply select it and press the delete key. And you will notice that if we go to the end of the document, that has now been removed. If we go to show notes, let's go and find our first one. So I think right now, it's difficult to see which one we're looking at here. Um, this is the second one, let's locate the first one. Here we are. So I'm gonna click inside the first one, then go show notes, and it will take me to that note. And then I'm just gonna simply delete this one. And then if we go back to the very end of the document, you will see that it has removed it, and this obviously becomes the first one. And then we just make some changes to the note there. So all you need to do is simply click inside the note, and then you can click show notes, and it will take you to that end note. The other thing you can do is if I add one in here, let's insert the end note, you will see that you can go where it says next footnote, you can go to the down pointing arrow and say next end note, and it will take you to that end note. And you can also go to the previous one as well. So you see it's jumping up and down here. So there's a couple of different ways to move around your document. But in my opinion, the easiest way is to select the end note from here, and then simply click show notes and it will take you to its location within your document. And that is how to add and edit endnotes within your document in Microsoft Word for Mac.